said this is my sunset coloring. And of course it's going to be darker than uh, the sunrise, right? Like we spoke about this before. So I will use more intense colors. And of course I will get some blue in this. So that's going to be my blue color. And uh, I need just a regular blue color because it's still uh, the sunset color. Uh, it's not only orange. You can still see the blue colors uh, on the sky too. So I'm going to get some nice blue. And uh, we just need to connect them now to our beautiful sun set colors and uh, uh, I want to do a little bit of um, right now trees um, because uh, that's going to show me the intensity of what's the colors are going to use for the uh, sky more so i will use some orange color with green so this is my sunset colors and just put it on my trees so the evening colors are warm if the morning colors are most of them cold the evening colors are warm and they kind of uh have the highlights from the sunset mm. and um, then I will get some grass the grass color will be still green but uh, a little bit more uh, darker than during the day it still has that a um, little bit orange color in it And maybe some yellow still uh, will be nice with green. So, because it's not that dark yet in this picture, so it's just a sunset time. So, I'm gonna add this color. And, kind of that. and um, then I need some. I need some. I will change my brush and I need some lighter colors for uh, the sky so we're gonna have some sun there and just hang light this way and uh, now we're gonna mix colors for my sunset And maybe a little bit of pink too. You know how to make pink already, so I'm not like really showing you too much, but just the intensity of it, so it will be not that dark, so I'm kind of um, still light. Yeah, the darker than the sunrise but not around the sun so uh, just sun uh, still has a lot of uh, lights around And then we can give us nice colors. So and then we're gonna keep this spot to dry, make sure that we get this nice intensity in that. And then so we can also work on 
our reason a river to have the storm and it's mixed nicely with the pink color we have kind of create a nice mix with the river floor we'll use that strokes the shorter strokes of the river Okay, so and then I want to work on my fourth part over there, the darker side by the uh, connection to the grass. So we use my uh, black a little bit with the dark blue. So kind of creating the connection by the grass. So this is my kind of shadows there so then I will use the purple uh, too so that's purple will help us to get some uh, kind of warmer shades uh, for the forest so even if purple is a cold color but uh, in connection what uh, we have right now with the orange is gonna help us kind of make a right mix uh, for uh, the evening colors. And um, that's our orange color with um, next to the purple will create that uh, translucency for sunshine. And we can also use that um, purple right here by the bark of the river and uh, when we add some white in there that's gonna in a little bit of orange this is gonna be our color for the house because it's gonna be in the shadow But the other side, which is was all day was in the shadows, will be lighter. Kind of have that um, orangey color. So that side will be lighter now because of sun light. So, and same color we can use for grass. We're going to use the green and the orange for the grass with a little bit of yellow in it just like that mm -hmm. and i think uh, i still need some uh yellow with orange for the grass just mix more because that was not enough uh, and uh, the forest has to be darker now so I'm going to use some um, hot pink and uh, some green uh, and this is going to be my color for trees so that purple we're going to kind of cover a little bit because it's kind of too dark but it's going to translucent uh, it's going to add some translucence uh, to uh, the forest and give some value, uh, especially where is the branches. Some highlights for uh, the branches um, on the top, they will be kind of lighter because they're close to the sun. 
trees are not dark they just are kind of in a shadow uh, because of the position of the sun so that's not that's not like we're trying to make them darker we just want them to have uh, the appropriate uh, color according by the condition of the day so that's why I use some purple uh, in my uh, mix for the streets uh, so that they will get the right tone of colors and same thing with the a place where the river connect to the grass right here should be a little bit darker I didn't get any darker color sorry so in some hot pink and um, we're gonna get some brownish pink color here for the side of the river and part here and uh, I guess we can just work a little bit with the green color uh, just to kind of uh, finish the grass right here and um, that's gonna do it for the condition of the evening I think so that's what we need for the evening condition so lighter uh, grass here because this just create that kind of uh, light uh, yellow color I want to use that uh, just next to the sun for kind of showing the lights from sun and that's going to be the color kind of for the uh, connection to the trees to the color so uh, and um, just kind of goes around a little bit and then I will use some orange for the other side uh, because that side is farther and so I need a little bit um, uh, darker color here and maybe a little bit more intense orange for uh, the reflection too so just like that And we can use that uh, with also with the um, trees, um, this orangey uh, color, just mix that with the green and just the four highlights of the trees a little bit. Um, the trees are still green like grass, so they can be like too dark. Uh, so I guess that's good and then we can use some uh, lighter green for uh, the close to the barks here because we get more sunshine there and um, by the end of the river I guess we can get some blue and same as the this kind of goes around a little bit Uh, and I think that for the sky, I can get some uh, blue uh, on the top too. So I'm uh, going to make some nice blue color. Right here. To kind of uh, connect on the color, the sky colors here. And uh, maybe in the river too. If just a few strokes of blue uh, doesn't hurt here too. And I need some pink uh, for uh, the sky, just for a few places there. 
They're just they're more intense if you know what I'm Some cold pink color. And we can use that in water too as well. And for the sunshine, just to maybe a uh, light circle of orange around the sun, kind of give us the nice uh, sunshine. Just this light will be like everywhere. We can also can use this in the highlight on the roof here on this side and maybe a little bit um, in a river too on any of them just like that I guess this is going to be enough uh, we can also put some light in the house because that's a time where actually people already so I'll turn the light on so I can put this in the house too. And I think for the roof of the brown will be good enough. So maybe just with a little bit that magenta uh, or dark purple of the uh, brown. So with a tiny bit of blue. Uh, maybe just a little bit more brown because it's kind of ended up being more blue so more brown yes just like that and that and that's same thing with the um, side of the window house can be a little bit lighter it's a little bit too dark So it's still white, right? So it can be too dark. So I'm just gonna kind of highlight it a little bit. Yeah, that's much better. See, that's important to get the right colors for your work. So this is the other side of the house. That's black already. Okay, so this is our evening. And so now we're just gonna do the night. Uh, and for the night, uh, I have to have really dark, dark, dark colors. So I'm going to use my dark blue color, I think. And we'll mix on that with the red. Get a really, really purple color. And maybe even add some dark um, gray or black. Um, it's up to you. So I think that this will work. So Use some purple. That kind of purple with magenta color. And, um, there's gonna be just leftovers of sunset there, so um, it's not gonna be too dark, but dark enough, right? And we can even uh, put some moon there, so let's try. So uh, why not? The moon. And around the moon will be a little bit lighter colors too. So we can just do around the moon. It's gonna have some like a hello kind of um, not very dark color. 
so now I just want to have um, the colors for my river so the river will kind of reflect um, the dark color of the sky And this swing will be in the river. And of course it's going to be some for um, the moonlight. We need some light colors on the river too. So going to use my white colors too. Because they still kind of light up uh, before they dry. When they dry uh, uh, completely, it's going to be lighter. So don't afraid to do it a little bit darker than you think it should be. And then the forest will be totally dark because uh, it has to be darker than the sky. And again, the brown, black, and red for that. Going to use the color. And for the side of the river too, we can use that color too. And uh, for the grass, uh, I think that we can get the lighter colors for the grass. I'm just going to use the different brush. And I will go with the dark green, uh, dark, dark green, dark blue. Um, do it as, as dark as I could. So, with the, it to define a little bit colors, even if it's a nine. And the moon, uh, moon color will be uh, kind of uh, letting uh, the colors a little bit come true. So it's not going to be completely dark uh, because that's kind of not interesting. I don't think so that you ever want to have on your picture the very dark, dark night where you barely can see anything. So that um, the moon kind of defines things a little bit so you can see the sun these colors. Uh, so, and for the forest, I will use a uh, little bit um, of um, dark green too. So. So most of the colors for the night, of course, will be um, cold colors. Kind of the good example for using the cold colors. Except it's going to be the light in the house, uh, which is going to be white. And we'll use that dark um, purple again for and use the black for the defined line between the forest and the grass.
from just like that who can create in the forest with the colors and then um i just kind of will use some gray color um gray blue for the highlights of uh from the moonlight so so because the moon will kind of get some light on the top of trees and uh, on the roof too right let's see now so that's gonna be the lightest uh, places and for the grass the same thing so uh, that um gray color will highlight the grass a little bit And um, I'm just gonna make um, also the blue color, which is not too dark, but dark enough. Because that's kind of color of the night too. We're not uh, gonna put it aside, so we need that. Uh, and that's gonna be nice for some shadows too. With the purple, that's gonna create our nice environment. Find the colors too. And for the mirror, I'm just gonna use a little bit more. Same color, but with the purple. Same thing about the night picture. So with what we're doing, we're actually trying to paint um, not a very dark night, but something uh, a little bit lighter than the total uh, darkness because uh, we still want to show some colors on the picture. And that's why we're kind of still adding some colors because we have the moon and we allow it to do it because the moon give us a little bit of some other shades except black and dark green so and um you will think that it's kind of boring to do the night picture but Actually, it's not because you basically can add any colors you want. They just have to be a little bit darker, uh, but they still have colors. It's the same as a gray color, for instance, for the overcast uh, day uh, condition of the day. So uh, the same thing with the night. You just think that it's, you think, well, it's uh, going to be just dark, dark, but actually, it's not because it still has some colors. And for the sky, I'll just add some blue on the sky too. like that we kind of finishing our composition almost I will get the smaller brush for details now so details will be moon of course because the moon needs some light I run out of my white so I need some light Uh, and keep the white uh, white it's a uh, main task because otherwise you never will be able to do what you want 
he's he's been around the dirty line. So so I'm just avoiding him more and more now. And uh, around the moon, I'll put this in nice light blue, just to show I'm kind of light around the moon. And the light can be uh, somewhere next to uh, the moon and sky, it's not always uh, prime around like sunshine. Same thing, it can be highlights uh, all over, and same uh, it can be on uh, the uh, uh, and we didn't finish the grass, I'm surprised it didn't come closer to the forest or something here. You can add some blue in there too, uh, because it kind of highlights the grass a little bit with the moon colors and I think that we should come closer a little bit over here so because that's where the borders of the house uh -huh. so that's where it's Uh, I think the brown with the magenta will work maybe with the black one. Okay. Um, this is gonna be for the dark side and uh, for the light side it's gonna be um, highlighted with the moonlight so it shouldn't be too dark. So that's just like that. So I'm gonna have some highlight color in there. So and uh, inside it's gonna be some light. So I think that we can make some yellow lights there with a little bit of orange. Uh, so that's gonna do it. So there's somebody inside of this house, and that's why the light is still on. And it also will bring some warm color in this picture, which is will highlight. Same warm color might work for us too for uh, for the moon. So let's see if we can um, kind of add it to to the light. Why not? So maybe on on the house uh, the roof. And um by the connection of the trees. Uh, there will be like leftovers of the sunset. We can get some white color there. with a little bit of warm touch in there so that kind of give us some nice alternative to the cold colors highlight the sky for that condition of the weather so it's gonna be what's the oldest colors into it
on if you don't finish on your your um, compositional lead the white for your first time way. I just you know get a few strokes on the grass uh, kind of highlighted by the moon so this is my idea um, to uh, for the finishing so just kind of highlight the side of where is the moon so that the grass can be lighter here in the video Intense, but it's it actually did the job. So I think that's gonna be good for now. Uh, we will finish because we accomplished our task, so we don't need to go uh, further than that. Uh, just for the last few words about uh, what we were working on, I just want to show you the result. Uh, we've got the condition of the day morning uh daytime evening and the night like a late evening condition is the moon and the purpose of it was just to show you how you can define with your colors uh something which is belong to some um uh, higher knowledge i guess about the art it's not only what what you're painting it's also what are your subject and the painting surrounded and uh, what kind of uh, feelings and condition he wants to deliver and it's showing you as the more professional artist uh, so you uh, you will just get some impressions about the different condition of the day maybe make some pictures put them together for yourself and then you can do the similar artwork where you put together four conditions of the day on the same paper and you will use this later for yourself as your training materials when you will decide it on painting something uh, so you always uh, can check with this and see what exactly condition of the day you want to paint and how it's supposed to look thank you so much for listening uh, and see you next time in our module